You know, just because I react doesn't mean I receive. Some people think the more you react, the more you receive. That's not true. How many know God uses everybody in a different way? There are some people who are very quiet and they're not emotional at all. Like the old saying says, deep waters run still. That don't mean they're not, that doesn't mean they're shallow. That just means they're deep. Hello? They, 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 they might experience the presence of God in a powerful way and, and you'd never even know, but yet inside their heart, something's overflowing, something's bubbling up and down. How many know it's a real thing for them? So let's not gauge somebody by the reaction that they have or let's gauge them according to how they receive from the Lord. Amen. 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 And so... So I've seen people that are, are so afraid to react that they couldn't receive. And, I, and I've seen so people, some people that are so worried about reacting that they don't receive. Amen. But uh, let me just say, just go ahead and, and, and just trust the Lord and all that. And then the second thing I want to tell you, it's a powerful principle, and that is this, that we seek God and not experiences. Amen. You say, well, don't you believe in experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit? Oh, yeah, I do. I do. I've, I've felt the power of the Holy Spirit more times in my life. I have experienced about every kind of a manifestation and thing that you can ever think of. But let me tell you something. When I go to the house of God, I don't go to the house of God to seek some kind of a, a, a manifestation or an experience. All that leads to is emotionalism and extremism. If you want to be balanced, come on somebody. Seek God. Go after God. He's the one that we need to seek. Do I have anybody in the house who's hearing what I want to say? If I, if I could just get in, if I could do anything with this church, I would just have you get so hungry and thirsty, not for some emotional experience, not to shout and dance and, and cry and laugh. No, 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 I would just have you hungry and thirsty for the living God. Come on, to know who He is, to know His power, to know His joy. Come on, seek God and not experiences. Amen. Amen. And I've seen some amazing experiences in my life. I've seen Sister Tuji in a revival meeting where people were all over the floor worshiping God, some out in the spirit, as we would call it. And that dear, I don't know, maybe 70 year old lady in high heeled shoes with her eyes raised like this, dancing before the Lord, stepping on people, not stepping on people, stepping over people, dancing on. And let me tell you what, I looked at that and said, now that's God. That was God. So I'm not, I'm not knocking a manifestation. What I'm saying is see God. He's the one. Then number four, and I'm going to end with this one today. We've got to balance our ministry with spon our spontaneous service with the commitment to ministry. One of the things about spirit-filled people is they want to be led by the Spirit. I mean, that's a good thing. Led by the Spirit's good. Tell your neighbor, led by the Spirit is good. If you ain't led, you're dead. Amen. Come on. We got to be led by the Holy Spirit. But let me tell you something. We've also got to have a commitment to ministry, to serve. It's not just enough to think, well, my spontaneous service to the Lord will be enough when the Holy Spirit prompts me. Then I'm going to get involved and I'm going to do something. I'll share my faith with my family. I'll share my faith with my neighbor at work when the Holy Spirit prompts And don't get me wrong. The Holy Spirit's going to prompt you. Hello. Come on. The whole, if you're active, if you're seeking, if you're the Holy Spirit's going to prompt you. But you've also got to say to yourself, listen, I need to make a commitment to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords to serve Him. And the Holy Spirit's for an empowerment to serve. An empowerment of ministry. Amen. Amen. And I just want every person at Fountain of Life to have a place of ministry to get involved. Amen. Amen. And so, and so that's, the, that's a simple one to really understand. So would you stand with me today? Thank you so very much for letting me just share this message today.